All right, so I want to do this video on this Samsung LCD TV real quick. This one is a 52 inch. It's a LNT 5265F as in Frank X slash XAA. Lincoln Nancy Tom 5265 Frank X ray XAA. And the problem it came in for was no HDMI operation. And um, I determined uh, that the problem was uh, definitely on the main board. And um, I'm pretty sure it's down to the HDMI switch right here, which is just a digital data switch. But instead of going ahead and uh, trying to find that IC and replacing it, which wouldn't be hard to do, but definitely possible, uh, I found one of these used boards on eBay for a good price. I think it was around $30. So I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and give this board a try. And, um, well, you know, 30 bucks, 30 bucks, take a chance. Definitely worth it. Uh, from our outward appearances here, everything looks fine, but wait until we get a actual signal. And here I'll go to HDMI, and uh, you can see that the picture is not as it should be. Definitely very solarized and uh, not looking too good. So if you've ever had this experience after replacing a main board, I'll show you what to do to correct it. Um, I'm doing this video because uh, my buddy up there in uh, Oregon, uh, Dave's, uh, Dave from Dave's TV, did a video on the uh, unscrupulous sellers where he ordered a board, received it damaged. The seller said it supposedly came out of a good working TV, and uh, he had he had received it damaged. So I thought I'd do this. Um, I, I'm sure this is an innocent mistake, but it certainly can happen. Okay, and so with the TV off, you want to look for the buttons mute, and then the numbers 1, 8, 2, and then the power button. So mute, 1, 8, 2, power. So I'll do that right now. Mute, 1, 8, 2, power. And that works on most Samsung TVs, whether it's a plasma, an LCD, a DLP, or even a CRT projection, a CRT direct view. They've used the same system for years to access the service menu. And on this one, I'm going to go down to Option Byte, and then using up, down, right, left, I'm going to either press Enter or use the right arrow to enter into the Option Byte mode. And the thing I'm going to look for is Panel Option. Right arrow once again to get into the Panel Option. And now right or left arrow actually is going to change the Panel Option. So I know that this one is a 52 inch, and so I'm just going to scroll through these things and see if I can find a 52 inch option. That's a 46 AM. That certainly does not look good. 40 AM, basically no change. And what this is doing, it's actually, if you saw my video about troubleshooting, there it is, 52 AMW. If you saw my video about troubleshooting solarized picture on an LCD TV and looking at the uh, bits of LVDS data, uh, this is actually changing the protocol for the LVDS data. So I've got it down to a 52 AMW. The picture looks absolutely fine at this point. So I just hit the menu to get back out of it. It automatically saves in these TVs whenever you make any change in here. So uh, watch exactly what's going on here. One thing I always do after I replace this is I'm going to go up and do a reset. Just hit reset. It'll reset the TV. It's going to clear out any data that was stored, any uh, brightness, contrast changes, audio, bass level, treble, balance, things like that, that the customer already have, have done. And now it's going to be just like it's brand new out of the box. It should come on in the setup mode, asking me to walk through the setup, auto-program the channels, things like that. There you go, menu language, shop mode, channels, and time will be set. So I say OK to start. It's going to ask me which language I want. I want to use English. And I'm going to be using this in the home. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to skip the auto program because I have nothing connected up to it. I'm going to skip out of everything just by hitting the menu button repeatedly. Hit the source button to go back in. Let's see how our HDMI looks now. Everything looks great. This one's ready to ship. So I just want to tell you, if you do get a board, uh, it's different on every set, of course. You can get into the uh, option mode and the setups differently according to manufacturers. Um, 
I know on uh, Toshiba, it's it's one uh, code. Sony uses a different code. Uh, not all manufacturers will let you actually change the panel options. Some of them will. You have to actually physically take the uh, EEPROM off of the circuit board. This little chip right here is the EEPROM. That stores all the data in this model. So if I couldn't get this resolved by simply changing the data, I could heat up and unsolder this IC, do the same thing on the board that's in the TV, and go ahead and just swap chips, and then this stores all the parameters for the TV, so that is another way to solve the problem, just swap over the EEPROM. Uh, sometimes there are big, flat EEPROM like this. Uh, other times uh, there are little, small ICs like this one right here. So it just depends on who you're dealing with and what protocol, what EEPROM they use, how much data they're storing, things like that. Anyhow, I thought I'd do this real quick video talking about uh, buying used boards on eBay and what you can do and things like that. I do appreciate your views, your comments, your suggestions. I'll uh, try to answer as many comments as I possibly can, but once again, can't answer every single one. Appreciate all your views and your support. You can follow me on Twitter, NorCal715. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.